What's up everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another Switch News. Today we've got some great information for you guys, so let's go ahead and get right into it. And we're starting off with Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. It seems like we could be getting some information on the title soon for the Nintendo Switch or the two games or however Nintendo decides to do it because there is a leaker by the name of Mug via Twitter who has correctly predicted 13 titles that were going to be at the February Nintendo Direct, and he is now stating that Pokemon is coming soon. Well, to be exact, here's what he had to say on Twitter. Pokemon soon. So, people are expecting it to be related to the Nintendo Switch. People are expecting it to be something to do with Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch and not like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee like mystery gift or Pokemon Go news as in Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. And I wouldn't be surprised because the Pokemon company often does these little shows or different things that's outside of directs or they have their own directs for Pokemon. For example, Pokemon Tournament for the Nintendo Switch was revealed at a Pokemon type of direct or a separate presentation than like let's say like a Nintendo direct that we just got. So I think that he could be right on this one. If you go over his track record, he went over all the different stuff. He talked about five minutes on Fire Emblem Three Houses, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Assassin's Creed going to be there, Dragon Quest, Mario Maker. He got all of that. Heck, he even got Box Boy and stuff that was not announced yet. Box Boy was a title that was not announced he got final fantasy he talked about yoshi and all sorts of stuff that he's gotten beforehand when it comes to the direct and he did all of this on february 11th so he got all of that right and you know what i'm just gonna have to sit here and say yeah i'm probably thinking there's going to be some type of pokemon news or something coming sometime soon when it comes to pokemon just because they've done this before with these early in the year presentations so maybe we get something in the next month or maybe we get something um, in the next couple months, but I do think that something is going to be going down when it comes to Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, a lot of fans are excited and looking forward to this type of game, and I think that the Pokemon company is going to make a gazillion dollars when Pokemon launches on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know when it's going to launch, probably like a November type of game, but when it does launch, they're going to make so much money, it's going to make Pokemon Go look small in comparison, or not Pokemon Go, but Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee look small in comparison. So, what do you guys think? about this tease here or do you guys with this pokemon news coming soon let me know your thoughts in the comment section below all right and moving on to the next topic here the january 2019 mpd has been revealed and the nintendo switch is the top selling system there and according to some leaked numbers the nintendo switch sold 284,000 units plus the playstation 4 sold around 190,000 units plus and the xbox one sold around 101,000 units plus now some information to know about the npd group with this this is just just for the US only guys, this is not like all of North America or South America or all of the America or the hemisphere or anything. It's just the US, just the United States and the sales there. And this is separate from the actual game data sales. So the top software sales, I'll have a link to all of that stuff in the description below. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Resident Evil 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3 rounded out the top three. And then a lot of the usual suspects like NBA and Super Mario Party, Legend of Zelda, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart eight a lot of those games were in the top 20 but it was crazy to see that the nintendo switch was still this top selling system sold for january because kingdom hearts 3 did i say kingdom hearts 2 earlier i might say kingdom hearts 3 sorry if i messed up on that one but kingdom hearts 3 and also resident evil 2 came out those are two huge triple a games quote unquote games huge games that people have been waiting for for a long time and you would think that they'd probably move more systems here in the u.s than the switch because all the switch got was was new super mario bros u deluxe but like i've been saying before obviously the past games games like mario kart 8 deluxe games like super smash brothers ultimate legend of zelda breath of the wild super mario party a lot of these evergreen games are always going to carry the nintendo switch being able to play these style of games anywhere that you want is a system seller in its own right forever at this point for as long as the switch is on the market here but very crazy to see that and also another bit of data guys is that the nintendo switch with its 184,000 units that was the highest selling january that any systems had this generation so there hasn't been another system that it sold more in january so even at the height of the playstation 4 and the xbox one popularity no system or even 3ds if you want to throw that one in there no system sold more than what the switch did in january 2019 which is also 
pretty impressive in its own right as well so i'm looking at going forward and what nintendo has for 2019 and you're like wow january was that good wait until some of the bigger games like fire emblem super mario maker marvel ultimate alliance some of these other games that were at the direct plus the other big games like animal crossing luigi's mansion pokemon like we just talked about this is going to be a very big year for nintendo in 2019 and this is just the start of it with january there's going to be a lot bigger games coming out and bigger sales and of course the evergreen titles are still going to be there with like smash brothers we've got the new joker dlc coming out in april 3.0 update when we talk a little bit more about joker in this video here as well so what do you guys think about january 2019 mpd with the switch being the best selling hardware platform and also having year on year growth it was the only console to also have year on year growth all the other consoles were down year on year let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below all right and moving on to the next topic here ghost light as already begun teasing their next game for the nintendo switch so they already had one launch on the switch which was okay but the pr manager at ghost light is already starting to tease the next title his name is ross barely and i probably said that wrong so i'm sorry about that ross and he states that this is not a japanese game and he also stated which is probably the more exciting information that this game has received pretty incredible reviews so it looks like it's going to be a game that was already released on the playstation 4 and the xbox one but what game is this it's not a japanese game so western style of game pretty incredible reviews what is ghost light picking up for the nintendo switch but i'll have to say this we're gonna see a lot of this right we knew that ghost light was coming into the switch after the system's been successful they put out their first game out on there and now they're already moving on to the next title and i'm looking forward to seeing what ghost light has but man i don't know what game they could be thinking about here it has to be somewhat of a mid-sized game it's obviously not going to be like a huge game on the playstation 4 or the xbox one so it has to be more of a mid-sized game that got really good reviews so mid-sized game really good reviews but I have no idea what game that could be. There's so many games out there over the years that this could be. So what do you guys think Ghost Light is picking up next for the Nintendo Switch? What do you guys think that this game could be? Do you guys think it's a bigger game? Do you feel that it's going to be a mid-sized game like I think? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the next topic here, we do have a brand new rumor that Joker stage in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate may be the Memento stage, which would be actually dope because Mementos is a really cool stage. So once again, those data miners are back at it again and they're pouring through the super smash brothers ultimate source code and what the data miner dr hypercake which has just an amazing name by the way he has found mention of jack mementos and this mementos was found in the same area where the other series slash stages references are being made in the game data so for those who don't know mementos is this really big stage it's like an infinite or endless type of dungeon where you go through in persona Five and there's all sorts of crazy things that happen in the memento stages it's actually pretty cool i love the mementos sometimes it wasn't quite fun playing the mementos like on a tv like when you can just have it on a smaller screen i had to do the whole portable thing with the ps vita but either way that's why persona 5 needs to come over to the nintendo switch but that's a whole nother thing for another day which we've already talked about multiple different times but yes if mementos was the stage for super smash Bros. ultimate i'd be completely down with that that'd be really cool they'd have to spruce things up a little bit the memento stages can be a little bit bland so they'd have to spruce things up but i think that they can do a really good job with it and i'd be down for mementos or i'd be down with pretty much anything i love persona 5 i can't wait to see what they do because this is kind of like a different style right persona this has never been in smash Bros. we have final fantasy that's awesome right super smash Bros. for wii u but this is a completely different thing with persona so it's going to be cool to see whatever they decide to do in this one here so what are you guys' thoughts on the possibility of the memento stage being the stage that's going to be in super smash Bros. ultimate when joker launches this april let me know your thoughts in the comment section below all right and moving on to the final topic here capcom has stated that they will have more information on resident evil resident evil zero and resident evil 4 on the nintendo switch by the end of this month so capcom did announce that we are going to be getting those titles which many people have already bought and have swiftly stated that they will buy them again on the nintendo switch if they ever do come and yes 
these games are coming and we should get some more information on them and this was announced a while ago i didn't realize how long ago that they announced these resident evil games coming to the switch it was back in october so it's already been a few months here and there really hasn't been any information they weren't at the nintendo direct but capcom wants to say calm down you nerds calm down everybody you're gonna get your resident evil news coming and i'm a huge resident evil nerd myself i love resident evil 4 that's my favorite resident evil game of all time i love resident evil 5 so i know i'm gonna be in resident evil 4 no problem but there's no timetable exactly what day they just said at the end of february and we're pretty much near the end of february you guys are watching this video if you watched it day one on february 21st so we're pretty much at the end of february and february is a short month so we don't have that many days left. The year is humming along nicely. So I don't know exactly what day they're gonna announce it, but they are gonna have some information for us. And I'm excited to play Resident Evil and beat Resident Evil 4 for like the millionth time on so many platforms. I've bought Resident Evil 4 literally for every single platform it's on. The GameCube originally, the PS2, the Wii, the PC, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, I've bought this game so many times, yet I'm buying it again again i'm buying this game and every single time resident evil 4 it's like the necessity it's like something that you have to have even when you don't have to have it you have to have it so i'm buying it again guys but anyway what are you guys' thoughts on resident evil 0 resident evil 4 resident evil all coming over i think that these are all good picks and i would love to see more of the resident evil games come over as well so what do you guys think about all this when it comes to the joker news ghost light january mpd and of course pokemon news soon that could be big coming up looks like 2019 is going to be stacked for the switch let me know your thoughts in the comment section below all right ninja that wraps it up for this video here go and check out the links in the description below we got facebook and twitter go ahead and give us a like and a follow on our social media it really helps to spread the content of players across the internet is just youtube also make sure you check out our patreon twitch and youtube live gaming pages hit that like button if you did like this video let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future and subscribe to players for this rpg japanese and nintendo gaming news thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the for the next video Peace.